What is the doomsday clock? Well, it's this contraption right here. But more specifically, the doomsday clock is merely a symbol that displays how much time we have until midnight. Midnight, of course, being the end of human civilization as we know it. And as of May 2022, the world is currently only 100 seconds away from midnight. This is the closest the clock has ever been to midnight since the clock's creation. But what exactly does this mean, and how does the doomsday clock actually work? The history of the doomsday clock can be traced back to an international group of researchers known as the Chicago Atomic Scientists. This group was established by former Manhattan Project scientists at the University of Chicago. After the atomic bombing of Japan in World War II, the group began publishing a newsletter that eventually became a magazine named the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. Since its inception, the magazine has depicted the doomsday clock on every cover. The clock was originally set to 7 minutes to midnight. This was chosen by the artist Marto Langsdorf who created the original graphic design of the clock. She has stated that she chose 7 minutes to midnight as it looked visually pleasing when she created the design. After the original setting of the clock, Bulletin editor Eugene Rabinowicz decided that the hand should be moved. Rabinowicz was a leader in the international disarmament movement and was in constant conversation with scientists around the world. Using his knowledge and these discussions, he decided what time the clock should be set to. His reasoning for each time change was explained in the Bulletin's magazines. After Rabinowicz died in 1973, the Bulletin's Science and Security Board took over the responsibility of changing the clock. This board, made up of scientists and experts in fields such as nuclear technology and climate sciences, meet twice a year to discuss world events and reset the clock as necessary. When deciding what time it is, many different factors are taken into consideration, as midnight includes more than just the threat of nuclear war. Threats such as climate change, bioterrorism, and artificial intelligence are also considered. After its original setting of 7 minutes to midnight in 1947, the clock would not be moved for the first time until 1949. This was the year the Soviet Union tested its first atomic bomb marking the first time in history that more than one nation had access to nuclear weapons. This resulted in Rabanowicz resetting the clock from 7 minutes till midnight to 3 minutes till midnight. The furthest the clock has ever been from midnight was in 1991, when the Cold War finally came to an end and the United States and Soviet Union both signed the Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty. This treaty formed the agreement that both countries would reduce the number of long-range nuclear weapons that they possessed. As a result, the doomsday clock was set to 17 minutes until midnight. As stated earlier, the closest to midnight the clock has ever been is its current time, 100 seconds until midnight. The clock was set to this time in 2020 and retained the same time in 2021. This was largely due to how the majority of governments worldwide have handled issues such as climate change and the COVID-19 pandemic. Before 2020, the closest the clock had ever been to midnight is a three-way tie between 2019, 2018, and 1953 when the clock was set to two minutes until midnight. Here in this graphic, you can see a timeline of each clock change. Nuclear weapons and climate change may seem like insurmountable opponents to the individual, but every person has a part to play. First, simply educating yourself on the risk that these threats pose to humanity is the first step in dealing with them. The more we know about these issues, the more we can do to help combat them. Second, share what you've learned with those in your everyday life. The more people that are aware of these issues and their severity, the more people there are to take action and apply pressure to their respective governments to make a change. Third, take some action. Tell your government how you feel about issues such as climate change and nuclear weapons. An individual voice may seem small and insignificant, but many voices together become much harder to ignore. If you would like to learn even more about the Doomsday Clock, I have linked to its official webpage in the video description. There you can find full reports on each individual time change along with a plethora of other information regarding the clock. Well. 
That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.